Hi, it's Doll Toys and Games Gal, and in this video, I'm going to review for you the new Monster High character, Dana Trejora Jones, from the Shriek Wrecked line. She is the daughter of Davy Jones. So I looked up Davy Jones. Apparently, he's some kind of a legendary devil of the seas that sailors all fear. In fact, the term Davy Jones Locker means the bottom of the ocean. It's just a better way of saying a shipwreck or where sailors, you know, where drowned sailors go. Um, so instead they say they go to Davy Jones Locker. You can kind of pause to read that description if you want, but it just describes her life on the seas looking for treasures, the stars in the sky are her guide, and at some point I guess she meets the other Monster High ghouls. And I'm wondering if this is gonna be a movie or a special of some kind, whatever it is, I can't wait to see it. So I have pulled her out of the box. She does not come with a stand. I lent her an Ever After High stand, and I will say that treasure is her main thing. Um, it's in everything. It's in the gold tinsel in her hair, right? Gold being treasure. Her hair's kind of uh, messy, and I'm not sure that I'm the right person to style it. There are definitely other YouTubers who know how, and I am not one of them. Um, she does also come with this very detailed instruction sheet that shows you, apparently she's wearing a two-in-one dress, so you can, it shows you how to switch her between the two looks. We will give that a try in a second, but first, let's review Dana. As I mentioned, gold is kind of her theme. Her skin is gold. Her eyes are a beautiful blue with stars in her pupils, and she's got freckles underneath her eyes. I like her lips, they're kind of a bright pink red. Really like these earrings. They look like little parrots sitting inside hoops. And you know, pirates all seem to, sailors and pirates seem to have parrots either sitting on their shoulders. Sometimes it's monkeys, but anyway, I like the parrots sitting in the blue hoops. And she's got this treasure chest on her head at a jaunty angle. And when you pry it open, you can see, if I can just get it open, it's full of gold coins. Can you imagine wearing a giant bounty on your head? It's like a giant wallet. I'm gonna go pay for stuff. I'm gonna go just take the gold coins from my head. Speaking of gold coins, she's also got them in her boots. The boots are really cool. They're an ocean blue color and both of them have this red X on their heel, like X marks the spot on treasure maps. So when you pry open the heel, you also see she's got a stash of gold coins there too. What's also interesting about her is her forearms and her legs, which I'll show you in a second. But her forearms seem to be marked, you know, like marked up, almost like striations in the sand or maybe like marks of a treasure map. Maybe she's um, keeping treasure maps on her arms. And her hands are black, which of course means that she's supposed to be wearing gloves, black gloves. There are hearts on the back of her hands and her palms just kind of look like leather gloves. Here I'm showing you her calves, as I promised. So yep, her legs have those treasure map markings too. So maybe she's marked treasure maps into her legs so she can remember. She Maybe she's found so many treasures, she's got a, she ran out of paper and she's using her skin. Um, okay, so the, the top on this outfit is molded. It's black and it's got like the suggestion of multicolored gemstones down the front. And she's got a chunky gold belt with a skelet on the buckle and a black full skirt with gold diamonds and gems and rubies and skullets. So she's got clearly got treasure on her skirt as well. And uh, let's go ahead and try turning the dress around. Okay, so I'm gonna unfasten the back. Okay, yeah, I can see how this dress works. So I've gotta rotate it around the front and then pull up the top part so that she has a new bodice and then refasten the Velcro. Hey, wow, this is easy. If I can do it, anyone can do it. I'm not the best at this stuff, so believe me. I actually like this new outfit better. Um, I like the stripes, the nautical stripes, and I like the very full skirt, and the skirt is like this giant treasure map. It's, you know, blue for ocean, and it's got various islands on it. Um, the islands are shaped like skulls, and there's some that are shaped like an octopus, and then there are ships, and then there are red X's for all the places that there's treasure. So I guess her skirt is like another treasure map. What do you guys think? Do you like this version, or do you like 
the version where she's wearing the big black skirt. I like this version. I will say overall, I think this doll is super cute in person. I, I don't think the camera um, translates her face well, but I think she's very pretty. And I can't wait to see what Monster High has in store for her and who she's meant to be. So I want to see more of Dana Treasurer Jones, please, Monster High. Okay, let's do a shout out to Natalie Seely. Thanks for watching my videos, and I hope you enjoyed this one and that you'll like it and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.